On October 28, 2024, military analyst Nicholas Drummond raised critical concerns regarding the British Army's procurement strategy on X, particularly surrounding the acquisition of the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, from Oshkosh. While the JLTV stands out as an attractive option due to its advanced capabilities and competitive price of approximately $300,000, significant barriers remain, particularly regarding the UK's goals for local production and support. Developed by Oshkosh Defence, the JLTV is designed to meet the mobility and protection needs of US forces and serves as a successor to the Humvee. The Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle LATV variant provides advanced protection and all-terrain capabilities suitable for various missions, including troop transport, heavy weapons support, and reconnaissance. Technically, it features a 397 horsepower V8 diesel engine, independent TAK 4i suspension, and impressive performance metrics, overcoming obstacles, achieving speeds of 120 km per hour, and covering a range of 480 km. With modular armor and versatile armament options, including 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns, an MK-19 grenade launcher, and a BGM-71 TOW anti-tank missile, the JLTV offers robust protection against improvised explosive devices, i.e. DEES, and is adaptable to diverse operational needs. Despite these advantages, the British Army remains cautious about integrating an American-made vehicle into its fleet due to the absence of local production and support, a priority for the Ministry of Defense, MOD. In a post-Brexit context, the UK government emphasizes industrial autonomy, seeking to bolster its domestic defense capabilities. An initial agreement was signed with Oshkosh to test British subsystems on the JLTV, marking a tentative step toward local integration. However, without a clear path to large-scale domestic production, British decision-makers are exploring alternative solutions. One promising initiative is the PM Light program which aims to develop a sub-10-ton protected vehicle designed and manufactured locally. This program could fulfill the British Army's requirements while simultaneously supporting the national defense industry. The PM Light initiative promises to combine protection and mobility within a local framework, ensuring long-term adaptability and effective maintenance support. In addition to local programs, various international options are being considered to bridge the current gaps in the British Army's fleet. The Rosehell Senator, a robust Canadian vehicle, offers high protection and flexibility for integrating various weapon systems. Another contender is the VAMTAC ST5 from Spanish company Eurovisa, known for its economical solution and compliance with Stanag 4569 protection standards, weighing approximately 8.5 tons. The Edgter Yeltsin from Turkish manufacturer Nurol Makina, locally assembled as the Dragon, has also emerged as a viable alternative. This 18-ton armored vehicle, equipped with a 375-horsepower Cummins engine, is designed to withstand IEDs and mines, making it suitable for high-intensity missions. In parallel with these solutions, the British Land Mobility Program LMP, aims to streamline the protected vehicle fleet, reducing the variety of models in service. This comprehensive program encompasses light, medium, and utility vehicle categories. However, it faces administrative and financial challenges exacerbated by ongoing strategic reviews and post-COVID budget constraints. Although discussions around the JLTV and LMP continue, the lack of clarity regarding long-term funding and objectives has led to frustration within the British defense industry, which seeks stronger commitments to stabilize investments. While the JLTV remains an effective and cost-efficient option, the British Army is increasingly driven to explore local solutions that align with its autonomy goals. The PM Light program, alongside international alternatives like the locally assembled Dragon, could address the urgent need for modernization as priorities shift ahead of the next Strategic Defense Review Plan for 2025. The path forward will require balancing the immediate operational needs of the British Army with the long-term goal of industrial self-sufficiency.